What are your thoughts on his impact? <clears throat> Most of people are not aware that not only do you lose fat, but you lose muscle. So about 50% of the weight you lose is muscle. This is plain false. Based on randomized controlled trials, these medications result in about a 40% lean mass loss, which includes muscle mass, water weight, and other tissues. Only about half of that is muscle mass, so on average these medications result in about 60% fat loss, 20% muscle mass loss, and then 20% loss of other mass like water weight. This is similar to what happens if you just significantly cut your calories without medication. When you lose weight, some of that will be muscle mass, but the goal is to lose mostly fat mass, which is the case here. But those numbers that I cited are without specific recommendations around resistance training. Engaging in resistance training like weightlifting or bodyweight exercises can help preserve muscle mass during weight loss, which is what I recommend to my patients who are on these medications. But it's also worth noting that even without advising people to engage in resistance training, the use of these medications can lower the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes by 13%, kidney failure by 9% and all-cause mortality, which is the risk of dying during these studies, by 12% based on a systematic review and meta-analysis of 21 trials and about 100,000 people followed for about two and a half years on average. These medications are clearly beneficial. And finally, we have now seen reductions in the obesity prevalence in the United States three years in a row after what was almost year after year increases in obesity prevalence over the past few decades. These medications are working and saving countless lives in a way that no diet or exercise trend ever has. Let's celebrate the fact that we have such an amazing tool and not fearmonger over or exaggerate the muscle loss or other adverse effects.